what flag do you fly? Th this has been on my heart for a while. You know, uh, walking through my village here where I live, uh, and you see people's flags uh, on their door. Maybe it's a sports team or a country. Um, and, and I've been thinking, what flag do I fly? What flag do you fly? Listen, at the end of the day, at the heart of the matter, there's an identity that is our ultimate identity. It's the one we really claim. It's the flag we fly. And in Jesus Christ, we are called to um, deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Him. Mark 8, 34 to 38. We are called to brand ourselves with Him as our identity. You know, Paul said in Galatians 2.20, he said, I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me. But Paul had um, given himself over to a branding, a name that was one with Jesus Christ. He, he was primarily a disciple of Jesus Christ. That's what he was, that's how he lived, and uh, that's what we experienced from him. And, you know, I wonder, is the same true about my life? Do people have to dig and dig and dig to get to that testimony of who I am? Am I first a, a fan of this, a member of that, um, a society member over here? Uh, am I primarily uh, in this sector of work, um, this family man? Uh, or, or, or do people get quite quickly to the real me, the flag I actually fly? Now, th there's a question here. How high is your flag? Do, do you raise the flag of being a follower of Jesus Christ? Now, we don't have to be obnoxious. God leads us by His Spirit. Jesus uh, only did uh, what He saw and heard the Father do, John 5, 19. And we are called to keep in step with the Spirit, Galatians 5.25. We are called to, to look and see the life around us. In Acts 17, we see Paul really absorb the culture and the people and even the writings of Athens. And it's through their, their context, he filters the revelation of God for these people. 2 Corinthians 8.21, Paul says, we are taking pains to do not only what is right in God's eyes, but what is right in people's eyes. It, it's okay to find yourself here in this world. In John 17, Jesus prayed that, that we would not be of this world, but that we would not be taken from this world. We're, we're, we're here, but there's a flag we are called to fly. Luke 12, eight to nine, Jesus said, he who acknowledges me before men the Son of Man will acknowledge Him before the angels of God. And he who denies me before men, the Son of Man will deny Him before the angels of God. We are called over and over throughout Scripture to acknowledge Jesus Christ and to identify with Him. What flag do you fly? Is it hard for people to see that flag? Is the flag not hoisted very much higher above some of your other loyalties and flags? These are questions we, we really need to ask and we need to go to God and say, Lord, how can I fly my flag of being a Jesus follower in a way and to a height that honors you? God bless you.